Hello! Today I'm reviewing Treasured Dreams by Susan Hatler. Now, Treasured Dreams is actually a short story collection, okay? So it's not um, the usual uh, short romance. Um, it's actually much shorter stories, but bundled together. So it's actually seven short stories, all from the Treasured Dreams series. Um, okay, so... In this one we have the main character is Holly okay who has basically she's come to live in this mountain village basically in Montana um, where she's doing her beading business okay um, you get uh, all the reasons why she's decided to move there and stay there and do this and everything and it's basically it takes you through her relationship each book each short story is an episode of her life basically so you've got you start out with an unexpected date um, which is where you get the introduction to her and things and um, you have her meeting um, I think that was the moment she meets Dave Okay, and then in the second one, which is Unexpected Kiss, you have her go on her first date with Dave. Um, then you've got an Unexpected Love, which, um, yeah, that's at the developing of their relationship. Um, then we have uh, an Unexpected Proposal which um, is fun. The, the whole proposal, the unexpected proposal, um, the proposal, kind of what you would think a proposal would be in a romance book, um, but also other proposals and things going on at the same time. That was quite a good one. Then you have the, an unexpected wedding, um, which... Uh, it's kind of nice, had the feels though, and then you've got an unexpected joy, um, and then the last one, which is an unexpected baby. Okay, so basically, you've got the whole the whole relationship. It's kind of like one of Susan Hatler's books, but divided up into smaller books. The only thing um, that I found a little bit um, the fact of reading the bundle all together, one story after another, is the fact that a lot of the information then gets repeated because they're obviously they're, they're standalone short stories as well. And so if you're reading the ones later on, then you get some kind of backstory from the previous ones in the ones that come afterwards, which when you're reading one after the other, can feel a little bit repetitive. Um, so. For on the one hand, you might want to read them individually um, and maybe have a break in between the books. Um, on the other hand, you would want to get the bundle because um, they are very short stories on their own. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say go for the bundle, but break up your reading of each episode so that it doesn't get too repetitive, the idea, because it's the nice little refreshes if you've had a break in between. Okay, that's what I'd, I'd advise you to do with that. But um, yeah, on the whole, I'm gonna give this one a three star. Um, it was good, she doesn't disappoint, she doesn't, dis although I do prefer her longer, slightly longer short romances as opposed to the short stories. Um, just because she builds on the, um, the story arc of the characters in more detail and things. I, I, kind of, I kind of felt that this should have been, you know, one of her short romances as opposed to divided up into short stories, if that makes any sense. But then that's because I love her longer short stories. So um, anyway, that is the Treasured Dreams collection. Go check it out. It's a nice introduction to her as well. If you've not read any of Susan Haller's books already, then um, these would be an, a nice little introduction into the kind of style that she has um, of writing. Although I 
would suggest reading some of her longer ones as well. Um, so there you go. Um, also, you can find, for example, uh, an example of one of her longer ones that I have put up here. So go click and then you can check out what I thought of those. Um, if you've liked this video, then please give it a like. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and um, thanks for watching. And that's all, all I have time for today and I will see you next time. Bye.